Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on Certified Corda Architect. Before we move further, we need to understand what is Corda. This course is especially for people who want to begin learning about Corda technology. It covers all the details regarding the architecture of Corda. It will help you to understand the Corda structure, so you can begin building your own Corda applications. Creating and running your Corda flow will be discussing in detail during this course. We will delve into the Corda architecture. At the end of this course, we will conduct an exam, which is optional. If you take the exam, you will get a Corda Architect certification. The Corda is an open source project, which was started by the R3 Consortium. We will explore what Corda is, what are the key concepts of Corda, we will also study the Corda network and flow, transaction, and many more concepts in detail. The outline might sound a little overwhelming for those who are beginners. To make it more understandable for beginners, we will start with the basics of blockchain. This course is for professionals from all walks of life. If you're a developer, an architect, or even a software engineer, it will be useful to you for creating blockchain solutions. Even if you are working in sales and marketing, you can use the knowledge from this course to implement solutions within your organization or amongst your customers. This course is also beneficial to those in the security sector. As you know, the foundation of blockchain itself is based on security and cryptography. Likewise, investors looking for opportunities within this sector can also take this course to understand the technology better. One of the most significant benefits of taking this course is that there is a massive market for it right now. This is because Corda is an enterprise solution for creating blockchain applications. It was first open sourced on November 30th, 2016. This course will also give you a deep understanding of the architecture and transaction as well as the different kind of flows that function within a Corda. Now coming to the requirements to take this course. Finally, you need to have an elementary knowledge of computer science. You also need to have a basic command of computer programming language as we are going to inspect how the Cordapp applications are built. There is no recommended experience for this course as this training is open to everyone. Even if you have no understanding about blockchain, we will be beginning with a few basics, so it'll be easy to grasp the concepts of Corda. The duration of this course will depend on you as it is a self-paced course and you can move forward depending on your progress. The exam will be for one hour and the training will be self-paced. These sessions will be instructor-led, and we will provide you with notes and the material, which you can use to prepare for the exam. The exam is based on multiple choice questions for 100 marks. You will need to acquire 60 plus marks to clear it, and if you fail to secure the minimum, you can retake the exam after one day. The maximum retakes allowed are three, Hence, you need to ensure that you have a good grasp of the concepts before taking this test. This will be the course content. We will go through the introduction of blockchain first, and then we will understand what Corda is, why Corda is essential. Then we will jump into the understanding of how and why it is better than the traditional blockchain technologies, why you should compare and how you should compare. Then we will jump into benefits of using Corda technology, in which we have the scalability, privacy, authentication and immutability, productivity and integration, and trade-offs. Next, we will understand Corda data structure. What is the data structure of Corda, types of data structure, the states, the ledger, and the vault? Next, we will discuss about Corda ecosystem, in which we will see the basic key concept of Corda and Corda architecture. In this course, we will discuss about all these key concepts in detail. 
First is Corda Network. In this, we see about what is Corda Network, its components like Network Map, Doorman, Network Permissioning, etc. Next, we will see Corda Nodes. In this, we discuss what is Corda Node, its structure, Corda Node Management, Shell, Node Database and Administration. Then we will discuss about Corda Transaction, where we see what is transaction, how to create a transaction, signing a transaction. Next key concept is Corda Contracts and Corda Identity. Next is Corda Flow. We will Flow Logic, Service Hub, Flow Task, Subflows, and Flow Management. Then we will discuss about Corda Time Window, network services like Notary Services and Oracle Services. Next, we will see how to test the Corda flow and also discuss about the basic requirements of Corda, like tools, plugins, and languages. Then we will see how to set up the Corda environment and lastly, we explain how the flow and transaction is carried out along with network services in the Corda network. So guys, this is the best certification you are going to have in your life because of the technology which is revaluing the whole world. And you are just one step away from that understanding. This is the right time to jump in and get the complete understanding of why Corda is a good thing and why it is useful and how it can solve your problem. Remember, you have to be smart and I hope you will sign up for the course and we will continue with the lectures. Thank you.